what did you think that this would be another painting video well you would probably be right but instead i'm gonna pretend like you're wrong no way painting who does that this is video games i'm a gamer girl and all i do is play the best bethesda game ever fallout 76 ha <laughs> ha Well, that was very naughty of you, Athena. Now that I have annihilated Athena, sterilizer, go away. Now that I have annihilated Athena, I can enjoy the simple things. What? What is that noise? Oh, hey, Eddie. I love you too, but something slimy is afoot. <laughs> of course it's you. Only you would be foolish enough to show your slimy face to me after what you've done. Only you would be foolish enough to try and make this video happen. So thanks. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. All the tips and tricks. First of all, I really want to say thank you to everyone that commented on my last video letting me know, hey, you need to thin your paints. And boy, did I need to thin my paints because now that I have this wet palette and I'm thinning my paints, it's gorgeous. Everything goes on really nice. And no chunky. Nothing was chunky. I am so happy. Thank you. But enough about that gushy stuff. You're not here for that. You're here because you want to watch my little tiny baby hands paint a little tiny baby octopus. But it's not just any octopus. It's the Wiz Kids Deep Cuts Giant Octopus. And I painted this with every fiber in my being. So I hope you like it. Let's get on to the paints, okay? What did I use? Where did I go wrong? Who knows? I'm sure you'll tell me. So for the base, I went ahead and did Fantasy and Games Haster Purple, which is a gorgeous color. Unfortunately, it is dark. And I should have gone with something lighter, but I did not. I started dark, and it's going to cause some issues moving forward. But that's okay, because... It, this whole thing is trial and error, so we'll see what happens. So you'll notice this spicy octopus has tentacles, and on those tentacles it has suckers. So for those suckers, I am still doing Haster Purple. But I did Haster Purple as the base color, everything's gonna get a lot more special moving forward, probably. So I continually did touch-ups the entire time I was painting this octopus, but definitely tried not to go too overboard as to not cause any chunkification, which I think worked out pretty well. Moving on to something more anxiety-inducing, here's a new paint, Lilith Yellow. Guess what I'm using that on? Eyeballs. Painful, painful eyeballs. Because I'm new to painting minifigures, I'm really going for minifigures that aren't quite as many. So this octopus is pretty nice. It's still pretty, pretty small, but not nearly as small as some of the other figures I've seen. And <laughs> my hands are still shaking from trying to paint something this small. So I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when I go even smaller than this. It's, uh, it's going to be a trial. Moving on to something a little less spicy. I stopped thinking for the two seconds that I was painting this octopus and decided to mix Ball Crimson with Lilith Yellow and go over the entire octopus. I... The thought might have been, ooh, highlights, but it did not turn out that way. Instead, it was just, ooh, 
A sick octopus. A sick, pale octopus. Um, so I try to fix that later. <laughs> By apparently thinking dumping an entire strong tone wash on this octopus, like that was gonna fix anything, um, somehow it washed out <laughs> the octopus even more than it was already washed out. Oof. Tough crowd. Okay. Well, it's not the wash's fault, it's my fault, because I don't know how to use a wash, and I decided that this octopus needed a wash, and it probably did, just not the particular wash that I was using. So, I had to go into fixer mode, and fixer mode is me trying to hide the fact that this octopus looks sick by using crack and blue paint to try to make the octopus pop out more. Look at these colors, not the sick octopus. After I painted those suckers, we went on to the most tedious paint job and the entire time I was painting this octopus, which was moving to the head. And I individually went with that crack and blue paint onto each of those little scales. And it was a pain. And it's where I had the most um, difficulty and the most errors. So to spice it up a little, I went in with the Lilith Yellow to try to give a highlight to that crack and loose spotting that I did. And I think it looks pretty spicy. Nearing the end, it was time to do the finishing touches, just running around, touching things up and hoping that the end result looks funky and fresh. Which I hope is how it turned out. Um, this octopus was definitely a lot easier to work on than my previous Fallout figures because I did listen to that advice about thinning the paints. And the octopus was isn't chunky. It's not chunky at all compared to my previous figures, so that makes me very happy. Already leagues above the other figures. There's still definitely things that I can work on, and still things that I am disappointed in. But I feel that I'm moving forward, so I'm happy. So this has been fun, and I thank you for watching, and also making it to the end of the video? What are you, an awesome person? I think so. Any fuego. Uh, take a gander over there and you'll see a previous video. That's cool. Also, subscribe if you want. I don't know, that's cool too. So, bye bye.